In this flywheel review, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about flywheel before deciding if they are the right hosting provider for you. I will start by breaking down the pricing structure and show you how to get the best deal currently available on flywheel. Next, I will guide you through the entire sign up process and judge how easy their platform is to use. I will then grade their performance based on page load speed and uptime from the flywheel plan that I purchase. And lastly, I will provide you with the pros and cons and my honest recommendations on if or who should buy flywheel. At the end of this video, I will give you a very special offer if you decide to pick up flywheel through my link below. I will give you access to my six figure blogger course for free as a way of saying thank you for supporting my channel. Now let's get straight into this review. Pricing options. Click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It will take you to my special flywheel discount page where you will get the best discount flywheel is currently offering. Now when we scroll down to the pricing options, you can see flywheel has four different pricing plans going from the tiny plan to the starter, then freelance and the last one is the agency. And the main differences here is the number of websites you're allowed to have and the number of visits that they also let you have. So for example, in the tiny plan, which costs $13 per month, you're allowed to have one website and 5,000 monthly visits. And you're allowed the five gigabyte of disk space and the bandwidth, which is pretty much the same as the monthly visits. So this is a handy plan to have as most hosting provider normally start at the starter plan for the 25,000 monthly visits. But when you're starting out, you're probably not getting that traffic. So having the $13 per month tiny plan is really handy. And from their pricing page, you can see that Flywheel has some unique features that other hosting providers don't have. So first of all, Flywheel is a managed WordPress hosting solution and they run all their servers on the Google Cloud platform, which is supposed to be the fastest option you can have. And they also have their own custom caching solution called Fly Cache, and it's available on all their plans and so is their CDN, which is run by Fastly. Another great feature that you have by running your server on the cloud is the auto healing technology. So for example, if one of your server goes down, it's not going to matter as it'll be replaced by another server on the cloud and keep your website running. And this also means that it can expand as much as you need. A few more features that are worthy of mentioning is the free nightly backups that is also provided on all their plans. This is a very underrated but very important feature to have as it will keep a copy of your website in case something happens. And the next unique feature is their free website migration. Their team will personally migrate all your websites over to Flywheel for free as a personal service to you. So if you're switching from another hosting provider, I recommend you let them do this for you as it will save you a lot of time and hassle. Another thing I want to recommend and mention is that you should always buy your hosting plan for as long as you can once you're happy with your hosting provider so that you can save you money. So in this case, if you're happy to move forward with Flywheel, it's probably better to get the annual plan instead of their monthly plan. So as you can see here, it's gonna save you a lot more money by going on your annual plan. So for example, the starter, it's gonna be 30 on the monthly, but it's only gonna be $25 a month on the annual plan. So you're getting two months for free. You have a 30 day refund period at the start where you can get your money back. So go for the annual plan if you can afford it. So now it's up to you on which plan you want to pick, but I would base it on the number of websites I need and the estimated monthly visits that I'm going to get. But for this example, I'm going to pick the 10 site 100,000 monthly visit plan to test them out and see how they go. So I'll click get started. The overall pricing score I would give Flywheel is a 10 out of 10. They provide you all the expected features of a managed WordPress hosting provider. They have their own custom caching solution called Flycache. They have also integrated with Fastly CDN and provide you the automatic nightly backup. All of this is for free. They also use Google Cloud servers to host your website, which is supposed to be the fastest and more expensive than other providers like DigitalOcean or Vulture servers. But I'll make sure to conduct a speed test later in this video to really see if this is true or not. After purchase setup and ease of use. Right away from their homepage, you can see it looks very easy to navigate with the custom user interface compared to the cPanel that a lot of other hosting providers use. 
The design is also very clean and simple. As you can see here, there's only one simple tab that you will ever need for each of your website. So for example, if you wanna set up your backups, you just click on here and it'll quickly take you to each version of your backups. Or if you wanna do something more advanced, you can click here and you can do things from there. And if you ever wanna access your site, you simply just click on WP Admin from any screen and it will take you straight to your backend. So now let's see how easy it is to install WordPress with Flywheel. And to do this, we click on New Site, select our plan, scroll down, add in your site name. Now create your username and password for your WordPress admin dashboard. Now click on Create Site. Now give it a little bit of time to load up your site. And that's it. Our WordPress website is fully up and running. And what about installing an SSL certificate? Let's see how easy that is. All you have to do is to hover over here and click on Enable SSL. Select the free option and scroll down and click on Complete SSL Setup. Now give it a few moments for it to be fully activated. So now let's refresh the page and you can see here it shows that our website is secured with SSL. Overall, I would score Flywheel a 9 out of 10 for setup and ease of use. I think all users would like the clean and comprehensive user interface and just how easy and responsive it is to navigate and do things to your site. I did take one mark away from them for not having the option to purchase the domain name from Flywheel. They also don't have the option for you to host your emails with them. Not having these options make it harder to use overall for someone like a beginner who's looking for a simpler solution. Speed and uptime performance tests. So after I have installed the basic WordPress site, I went ahead and tested out the speed of the bare bones website using GT metrics. The result is just half a second. That's right, 0.5 seconds. This is an amazing start for Flywheel as they are the fastest bare bones website I've tested out so far. So now I would take it a step further and add some design elements to it to increase the page size. And don't worry, if you're overwhelmed looking at this, my course that I'll provide you for supporting the channel will guide you through this step by step. Normally, I would install WP Fast's cache, which is for speed optimization, but Flywheel has their own server level caching, which is supposed to be faster than any plugins. So we don't have to do anything here at all. The next plugin I will install is Short Pixel, which is for image optimization. And lastly, I will install Flywheel's free CDN instead of my usual Cloudflare CDN. This content delivery network will also increase the website performance free of charge. This will overall make it more comparable to what you would do in real life with these basic optimizations. This is now what the new website layout with all its new plugins look like. And the speed is now 0.9 seconds, which definitely makes them one of the fastest hosting providers I've tested so far and they easily pass Google's recommended site load speed of two to three seconds. Now I have been monitoring the stability performance of Flywheel with Uptime Robot and can report that their uptime for the last 30 days is a perfect 100%. In fact, they have not had any downtime for over 70 days in a row, which is very impressive here. Overall, I would rate Flywheel's speed and uptime performance a perfect 10 out of 10. I cannot fault them on anything here they have the equal fastest page load speed I have ever tested from any hosting providers and their 100% uptime is amazing too. So well done to Flywheel overall in this performance department. Here's a quick question for you. Who is your current web hosting provider and what is your page load speed with them? Let me know in the comments section below. Support. Flywheel provides 24-7 customer support through email, live chat, and phone support, so you can contact them at any time of the day when you need their help. I will now test them out by asking them these three different questions on live chat. One, I will tell them that I have been infected by a virus on my website and ask for their help. Two, I ask them a quick question about their domain name renewal costs. And three, I ask them if they would do me a favor and install an SSL certificate and Cloudflare app for me, as I am a complete newbie and have no idea how to do this. And here are the results. For the first question, they were willing to help and looked into it right away. The live chat support staff could not resolve the problem for me, but did escalate the case and I received a response solving my problem within 30 minutes, which is more than acceptable in my book. 
They were also willing to remove all malware from me for free as part of their service. So well done to Flywheel for their great customer support here. For the second question, unfortunately Flywheel does not offer domain names, but they were able to answer my question very fast straight away. And for the last question, Flywheel also resolved it fairly quickly for me, although I was not fully happy with it and I'll explain why. They were willing to help install my SSL certificate and did this very fast without me having to touch any buttons. However, when it came to Cloudflare installation, they were not willing to go the extra mile and help me here. They just said it was an external tool so they cannot help and that I would have to contact Cloudflare support if I needed further help. I was a little disappointed here as I expected a premium managed WordPress provider to help a bit more than this. With regards to their response time, I contacted them at three different times of the day to make sure I get an overall average and not just a biased fast response during their off-peak hours. So the three times were 2 minutes and 10 seconds, 59 seconds, and 5 minutes and 6 seconds. And the average of these three times turns out to be around 2 minutes and 45 second wait, which is certainly more than acceptable and is fairly fast. I think the max wait time for any hosting company should be kept to under 5 minutes, which Flywheel pass with flying colors. Overall, I would have to score Flywheel's support a 9 out of 10. Their support team was generally friendly and willing to help immediately without having to ask twice, and their response time is also fairly fast and is under my required 5 minutes. I just took one mark off them for not being willing to help with the Cloudflare installation. When I pay a premium for a service, I would expect premium support in return, and I didn't quite feel like that with Flywheel. Are you enjoying the level of detail I'm providing you in my review so far? If so, make sure to let me know by liking my video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content I release every single week. Features, cons. So let me first start off with the cons. I only have one con for Flywheel, which is the fact that they don't provide you with the option to purchase the domain name from them. And they also don't offer free email hosting, so you have to find another provider for your emails. This is not a big deal for many people. Just like myself, I use Namecheap for my domain names and G Suite for my email hosting. But this would have been a really handy feature for beginners just starting out. Pros. The first pro that stands out to me with Flywheel is their speed and uptime performance. They have an amazing website speed at just 0.9 seconds and their 70 days straight of no downtime is amazing as well. They are a very fast and reliable hosting provider. The second big pro is their intuitive backend system which I believe is much easier to navigate and use than cPanel. This may not be a big deal for someone who has been building websites for a while but it is a big plus for beginners just starting out. The next pro is the fact that Flywheel has server locations in five different countries for you to host your website on. This will greatly increase your website speed for your visitors if you or your business are located outside of the United States. Another great pro is their features. They provide their own custom server-side caching solution and a CDN solution for better performance. They also provide free automatic nightly backup which many hosting providers try to charge extras for. The last pro is that Flywheel offers free website migration. This means that Flywheel will move your website from your existing provider to them for free when you sign up with them. You simply just have to click on begin a migration, then click on I'd like help, and then you follow and complete the steps below as you can see here. Not many hosting providers offer this to you for free, so kudos to Flywheel here. If you decide to pick up Flywheel through my link, just send me your receipt to bonus at .com .com and I'll send you back access to my bonus course. Recommendation Overall, I have given Flywheel an average score of 9.5 out of 10. They are right up there when it comes to the price, speed, features and ease of use. So this is my recommendation for you. If you're a beginner or advanced user looking for a well-rounded managed WordPress hosting provider with great performance, then Flywheel is a very solid option that I think you should strongly consider. However, if you're on a tight budget and don't have a lot of money to spend, then I don't think Flywheel or any managed WordPress hosting solution is right for you. Now, I think picking the right hosting provider is such a crucial step for your business. So if after watching this review, you think Flywheel is not the right hosting provider for you, 
then I recommend you check out this hosting alternative, which I recommend to all my viewers. But if you're happy with Flywheel, then I recommend you go to this next video, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.